Hello, uh, so we went out as a team to minister outside of Bloemfontein and uh, we drove today with the team and we went out and uh, there was not a lot of people outside, we were going for street evangelism um, but there was a lot of wind so there wasn't people outside, everybody was in their houses so uh, as a team we trusted God for to direct us where to drive with the car and uh, God just uh, laid on our hearts to, um, at the T-junction, He told us to go left and we went left and then at the next street He told us to go left again and we were driving down the street and uh, I just experienced uh, to stop at the one house uh, on our right side and so I got out and one person on the team came with me and we went out and there was, uh, so there was a car and there was uh, in the front door there was still a key on the outside of the door so I thought yes there must be people here and so I called and called and I said hello hello and uh, so even like after a while I said God you said I must go I just really experienced I must stop at this house and um, what do you want me to do now must I go back in the car must we leave uh, must we just pray over the, the people what must we do and God just said wait and I just experienced wait and uh, so I'm standing outside and I'm calling, hello, hello, hello. And nothing, there's nothing and it's the person standing next to me is also like standing awkwardly like what's going to happen now. And uh, so I just kept calling, hello, hello. And then I said, God, what must I do? There's, there's nothing happening. And God still told me just, I just got the word wait. I just experienced the word wait. And uh, so I kept waiting and... Uh, and then when I called again, there was this, this one boy was looking through the, the window and he was like so shocked because then I looked at him and I, I was calling him. I said, come here. I showed him he must come closer. And uh, he was so shocked. And then he called the, the person next to him, his sister or someone. And he called her as well. And uh, then there was a lady that came out and I said, I, uh, how are you? I just experienced to come pray for you guys, uh, pray for your family. And uh, we just wanted to give you a food parcel. We were handing out food parcels and some clothes. And uh, I really just experienced to, to give uh, a food parcel to you and maybe some clothes. Uh, do you have any children? She said, yes, there's children inside. And uh, so then the one came, she came out. And uh, as I prayed for her, uh, I saw the other children. I said, oh, is there other people in here as well? And she said, yes, there's 13 people living inside the house. And uh, they weren't like, uh, they weren't as, they didn't look poor in the sense, but they were, there were a lot of people. So she, uh, she called out the, the, the one and I gave the food parcel to them. I said, yeah, but you can come look for clothes. Here we have a few um, bags with clothes. And so she took for herself and for the one kid. And then suddenly so she went back and then I said, can I pray for you? And she said, yeah, it's fine. Um, let me just go put this in the house. And she went and she put the packages in the house. And uh, when she came out, there was like eight children that came out as well. And they were standing there in front, uh, in the house, uh, in front, uh, in the yard and, uh, or in front of the house, sorry. And, uh, she said, no, they also want to pray with. And, uh, so me and the, the person that went with me, we prayed for them. And I, I just trusted God for a word for each one. Of, it was, uh, all boys, uh, or eight boys and, uh, different ages. And I trusted God for a word for each one. Like I experienced for the one God's going to use him with his hands to be a skillful worker. And God's going to use him to be a creator to create. And I just uh, prayed the blessing over each one of them. And uh, then I told her, no, come, we're going to give you more packages. So we gave it uh, more food parcels and, and clothes. And uh, what I just wanted to share with that was even sometimes when God speaks to us um, and we don't understand why God leads us in a spe specific place or a specific direction. Um, let's, let's trust God to, when he says, wait, to wait. Um, because after the first time I asked God, what was he doing? I, he said, God said, wait. And the wind is blowing outside and it feels like, no, I just want to go back in the car. There's no one here. No one's answering. And so I'm calling and I'm also feeling like, uh, kind of embarrassed because I'm, I'm just shouting, hello, hello, like randomly in the street, shouting at the people. And uh, then I asked God again and he said, wait again. And second time I asked, he said, wait. So, and then there were 13 people that, that uh, were inside the house and we could pray for them. So now really just be obedient. I believe we should be obedient when, when God speaks to us and uh, we will see how God will bless others through our obedience.